good morning hello and welcome back to my channel welcome back to a brand new video oh that's so weird that i just saying that just triggered a dream that i had last night that i'd finish youtube forever and i said hi guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to my final ever video <laughs> Oh, let's hope I never have to say that. That was more of a nightmare than a dream. Anyway, hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really, really well. I wanted to pick up my camera this morning and just do a bit of a quick vlog. I was gonna pop out to the Trafford Centre, but I remembered, I think some schools are still on half term this week that I'm filming, so I don't... Look, if you're a Manchester person you will know that you just avoid the traffic center at all costs on a weekend if you can and uh school holidays if you can because it just gets carnage especially like half terms like we've had that's been quite rainy and miserable any indoor activities i feel like families flock to the traffic center because it's just like an easy option with lots to do so yeah i was gonna head there but maybe we'll head there next week week after something like that um because i have I actually have a voucher for Abercrombie and Fitch and also I wanted to pop into Selfridges and have a look at a couple of things. I need to pick up a gift as well for a friend. So yeah, maybe we'll do that in another video. But for today, I thought, where could I head as a little bit of content for you guys to see what's new in stores. We all like a bit of shopping content here on this channel. And I thought I would go to a shop called Yusk, which I'm sure a lot of you will have seen me talk about before. It's spelled J-Y-S-K. And it's like a home interiors shop. There's one in Stockport and then not too far from there. There's also a um, like little shopping center with like a TK Maxx, a HomeSense, a Dunelm, home bargains, a range. So I'm thinking of heading in that direction. But I do also have uh, some, I've got a PR box that I got from Next with a couple of clothes items. So I'll show you that within this video as well when we get home. Oh, should I just show you now? I feel like I could just show you now, couldn't I? Here we go. So next have a load of new season denim, as you can tell from the box. It's so funny because this arrived and I said to Tom, oh, a PR box from next. I've not ordered anything. I wonder what it is. Um, and then he said, it looks like jeans to me. And then I was like, oh yeah, <laughs> they did email about sending some denim. So um, yeah, that's why it looks like jeans because it is celebrating the launch of some new denim from next. So new season denim at next here we go they had loads of things that i had a quick browse they also offered to send me a pair of trainers to style up with some of this denim so i might wear these today should we give these a bit of a test run they're just some nike trainers i don't actually know the name of these this is probably my favorite thing that i got from hold on let me lower you slightly so you can see there we go it's a white or i should say maybe more of like a creamy colored denim skirt i still feel like it's just a little too cold to be wearing skirts even denim skirts but we're not far off in fact i'm just looking outside there the trees starting to bloom are like huge i don't know what they are beach poplars i don't know what's a really tall thin tree because that's what we've got in our garden a few of those they're not evergreen but they've just started to bloom not with flowers either just leaves if you know let me know anyway back to the denim i got this in a size 10 and yeah it's just a really nice little denim skirt and i also got sent this kind of overshirt well not even an overshirt it is like a denim shirt i'm pretty sure they had this in lots of different colors and now in person having looked at it in real life i'm not sure if it's gonna wash me out that color should have maybe gone for like the khaki version or something quite long as well so you could just wear it like open and then last but not least i got this kind of boyfriend fit style jean they're a bit more lower rise for me and a bit more cropped so a bit more of like a relaxed fit i got them in a 10 regular i would say like mid-rise yeah they are mid-rise relaxed boyfriend that's exactly what they are <laughs> sometimes i'll get messages from you guys saying i bought this but how do i wear it I find the best place to go is Pinterest for kind of styling ideas and things. So that's what I do anyway. I just go on to Pinterest. I would type in white midi denim skirt outfit and save loads of my favorites. I do have, I mean, my Pinterest board is open if ever you wanted to follow it. I do it just more for me 
but like I don't you know push it as a platform or anything but I've got all of my like individual rooms for the house on there with all the inspo you can see all the garden inspiration that we've got going on I'll pop a little um clip on screen of what it's currently looking like they've sort of carved out troughs within the what will be the grassed area for um some drainage because that area used to get really waterlogged I've been adding some new images on my Pinterest for like uh, I'll pop some on screen for our garden so we're thinking very stuck up busted walls white bright but also like lots of creamier tones travertine floor like limestone floor tiles lots of huge rustic pots with like olive trees in rustic kind of textures woven things like we've obviously got like our a stone resin table from ochre which will go in our outdoor kitchen area but to have seats around it I'm thinking like wicker chairs so that's all the kind of vibe inspo for our garden and where we are at currently with that for anyone that is interested and like I always say if you want more real-time updates my Instagram home I have like a little highlighted tab of the garden that I just every day or two i'll just post a little update and add it to the highlight and that will be kind of real time whereas youtube there's always that bit of a delay but anyway let's get our shoes let's get on the road let's get our shoes let's get our shoes on let's head on the road let's head to yusk first i think they've got like a, speaking of rustic pots they've got a big rustic pot that i've seen actually and some wicker chairs I feel like it's a bit too early to be buying them though but i've seen online that they've got some really nice wicker chairs that could be good for the garden but anyway, we'll go see what they've got in today and then uh, we'll have a little mooch around some of the other shops and head back and show you what I end up picking up if I end up getting anything, which when is there ever a shopping trip where I don't end up picking up something? At least one thing. I can't get this thing out of the trainer. <laughs> Ooh, you know, when you're about to pull something out, you feel like if I go too hard, I'm going to break a nail here. <laughs> I feel like, there we go. I feel like my nails are getting a little long. I feel like I feel like, I feel like, I feel like when my nails start to get quite long like this, I can feel them. Why do I keep saying I can feel? I can feel them. I can feel it coming in the air tonight. Who remembers that advert? Well, that's what I always think of anyway. I feel, am I okay? Do I say that all the time in my videos? I feel like, wow. I want to say a sentence and I can't say it without saying I feel like. That's so funny. I didn't even realise. I think sometimes, I feel like sometimes when you're filming content like this, because I'm not talking back and forwards, that's what the trainer said, like, with you guys, I'm just speaking to a camera. You feel the need to fill the gaps with a word or a sentence. Like quite often I'll edit out my ums and ahs and I went to a Reiki sound bath for the first time ever yesterday like a one-to-one -one with this aunt lady who was like not too far from me she's fairly local to me she's lovely absolutely lovely I really enjoyed it so the first part was I was probably at her house for about an hour and a half and initially we sort of we're chatting then we did a bit of breath work and like a kind of seated meditation just focusing on the breath work and then I was on the bed and she did like this sound bath and you feel the sound like with these huge gongs and things you feel it vibrate through your body and it's kind of like a cleansing chakra aura cleansing type thing with the reiki added in there whereby I could slightly feel her she would like massage my temples I could feel her on pressure points on my head but otherwise it's very like they don't touch you when they do it it's just you feel their presence we're actually booked on tom and i to do another one next week not with her somewhere that we're going down in the cotswolds so that should be good but yeah really interesting really interesting and um uh, why was i talking about her Oh, my point being, I was chatting to her afterwards and she was saying how, yeah, we were talking about the fact that I have like, kind of like, I struggle to relax, I have a very overactive mind 
and you know leading into like anxiety perfectionist caring what people think of me and she was saying how in social situations it's it's okay to just you don't have to fill the void you can have a break you can have a bit of silence and it's not natural to me to have that so unless if i'm really comfortable with someone obviously tom and i will just be in silence together that's no problem but if i'm in a situation i kind of overcompensate and chat 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 seem confident when inside i'm like oh such an introvert inside me she says what we find we do in that state in the sort of fight or fight mode in those social settings is fill the silence with the ums the so um anyway you know like filler sounds or words and i said gosh if only you could see me film my videos and edit the amount of edits i have to do with my ums and uhs and i feel likes and so <laughs> just and i do think it's because i'm like filling a silence that's what i'm doing because you guys aren't talking back to me oh i wish you could just talk back to me well you can in the comments but you know i need you here chatting with me now anyway let's get on the road these trainers are nice and comfy Oh, I like them. Just looking in the mirror. Just got on some leggings today. Very kind of comfy, casual outfit for just popping to the shops. I've got my Abercrombie quarter zip. They do have some quarter bit zips left. I don't think they've got this specific one, but I'll leave the ones that are like this in this colour. Just look slightly different. Um, um, <laughs> let's go. Before I keep filling more voids with more ums. <laughs> more ums and ahs. Okay, we've made it. Let's go inside and see what they've got. Scandinavian sleeping and living. That's exactly what it is. Oh, and look, they've got discounts on garden furniture. Interesting. These are definitely giving white company dupes. Got some really nice crockery. These plates at four and five pounds. Very Zara home looking, I would say. Like that could be like a candle plate as well. And then this is the big bars that I wanted to get my hands on there. I think they're 30 pounds. That basket's nice as well, actually. Yeah, that's lovely. <gasps> Guys, how nice is it? It's huge. I do actually have this tray already, but it's in like a slightly lighter color. They've also got these little pedestal stools, 34.99. Lots of like outdoor things, actually. I have spotted that set over there. I'll go and show it to you in a sec, but it is beautiful. Like, in fact, let's go have a look at it now. And then whilst we're here as well, these wicker baskets, I think yeah i think they actually come in a set how nice is this set it's like a dark wood with like this kind of linen look but outdoor appropriate cushion i'm after another olive tree for our bedroom i do really like the one that i've got from home bargain so i might pick up maybe another one of those if i can find one I've just found the olive tree if you did like it it's 30 pounds and they've got this kind of like grass one at 30 pounds as well I think I prefer the olive tree I am tempted though you know because the one from home bargains is 100 pounds it's a lot bigger but I do really like that one as well uh what else have we seen this is the more the color of my tray that I've got 12 pound 50 really nice like warm marble and then they've got these wooden ones again very white company vibes lots of dupes in here oh i've just spotted actually i've left my trolley over there i need to go back and get it but how nice is that decorative bowl 11.50 just to add a bit of interest and a bit of shape i really like that i don't know where i'd put it though maybe even styled up like on a shelf somewhere this is the boris pedestal 15 pounds just like a nice little seagrass again natural 
textured little stand almost. Oh yay, I was hoping I'd find more of these napkin rings because I definitely want to get a full set. There's one thing I'm lacking is full sets of things you know like when we've been hosting i do have some but i think i've only got six is my biggest amount and when we're hosting if we have like seven or eight people it's so annoying when like one or two people have to have a different napkin ring so i think i might actually pick up a couple of packs maybe even a few packs of these just to have i actually have this basket in our bedroom it's 24.99 again white company style this seagrass is lovely i just have it with like a throw cushion real cozy vibes for in the bedroom but also they've got well they've got all sorts of baskets but they've got these smaller ones on promotion for six pound and i just thought the structure of these would be perfect for so many different spaces even if it's just within cupboards like in a bathroom vanity unit to pop your products in or used as in a kitchen like pop a linen tea towel in that and just throw a load of bread in it and have it as like a bit of a bread basket what else have we got down here this would be good for office storage you know for paperwork and bits and bobs six pound fifty it's a beautiful like olive green kind of color Oh, these colour candles are nice. Three pound. Can you see if I bring it into the light? They're kind of like a mushroom brown and a really, really light olivey sage colour. Okay, more big vases down here. Twenty six fifty. It's kind of like a greeny stone colour. They also have this tablecloth. This is more, I would say, just spring and summer appropriate because it's got these tiny little subtle. Can you see illustrations of these little flowers? Table runners, these ones are like 300 long, so will fit mo oops, most tables and you can cut it to size. Again, they've got more of the like rustic linen ones, loads of napkins. Oh, they've got the matching napkins to that tablecloth. Oh, I might have to get these for spring, summer. Guys, again, spring and summer, how pretty is this? And it's on sale, 8.50 gorgeous little cushion floral illustrations i think yeah it's just on the one side but how pretty is that i think i would have to change the inner but um so so pretty they've also got i've just spotted up there can you see there's like a linen frilly cushion cover throws bed throws bedding even little wipeable tablecloths that you can cut to size. This kind of linen, again, heavy textured cushion. In fact, the cushions that I've got, the linen cushions that are, there's, well, they were in our bedroom. There's one is still in our bedroom on the chair. Um, that's from here as well. But yeah. Oh, here's the cushion. The frilly, frilly beige one. It's nine pounds. Yeah, I think I would change the inner. Again, it's quite flat. Um, still pretty but yeah trolley is looking pretty full and i'm still <laughs> still looking so i need to head to the till and then head over to the next shop where's it gonna be tk maxx home sense dunelm it's the joys you see of just shopping by yourself on your own time you can go where you want when you want i always think do we have a rug or should we get a rug under the dining table to kind of help section that area off uh, what do you guys think? Would that look good? Is it annoying? Is it very impractical having a rug under a dining table? But nothing makes sense anymore know already in Dunelm they have this like dried floristry range where they always have this dried gypsophila and the little bunny tails which I think are so cute but I've never seen these ones before and I really like them again for spring and summer they're called Redemph um a little bunch of them at eight pounds but I just think in a little vase and obviously because they're dried they will last you I just think they're so pretty and then they've also got these ones down here, which are a bit more dried and wild looking and more of a bunch. I love this for like a little tea caddy. If you put that in a larder unit or a pantry, whereby you could have different teas stored in there. 
um, or obviously anything. It just says collection number one, 25 pounds, or within like a wardrobe room for like belts, sunglasses, that kind of thing. And then they have that same kind of mango wood in the cloche. This is part of their Natural History Museum collab range. Okay, so this is literally just a glue gun, but how pretty is that if you're into crafting? Only five pounds as well. They've got them in lilac. I just think that's so pretty. Anyway, I'm just having a quick look at the stationery that they've got. I love these for like just a plain, if you're just like a plain leather look notebook, they've got the really nice, like here it is, the dark olive kind of green color. Just turn that music down. I have just finished at Dunelm and I'm gonna head over now to, I think I'm gonna leave it with TK and Home, <laughs> TK and Home Sense. TK Maxx and Home Sense, and then I'm gonna get back for some lunch. In fact, there is an m &S right next to it. I could maybe just grab something for from in there to take with me to take home. But yeah, I need to get back and I need to get on with some. I've got some emails that I need to respond to, so I can't be too much longer. It hits me on like a shopping spree when I've got stuff to do at home. And earlier I said, when you're on your own time, you can do what you want. But anyway, I did pick up some bits from Dunelm and from Yusk, so we've got a pretty chunky haul already anyway for you guys with some new and bits. But Okay, firstly, how gorgeous is this sofa? I've just seen it as I've come in. 999. It's like a linen and then the scatterback cushions. Well, there's only four of them, so it's not too much of a scatterback. But um, they've got this kind of like Oxford border on them. Really, really pretty. Love that. Let's grab a shall we? I actually want to look at some of the clothes today as well, I think. They've got quite a few noticed over there quite a few clearance bits and i've spotted loads of like branded things so obviously ralph around but they've, i've seen like asos calvin klein i've seen bershka zara urban um outfitters as well i've spotted so i feel like they might have had maybe a recent delivery quite a few good brands so yeah we're gonna have a quick look at the fashion as well today and then the home bits are all upstairs lots of dresses which is nice to see ahead of oh, that's a pretty dress ahead of spring summer and it's in the sale that is 32 pounds in the clearance from rankled folk studio eight phase eight dresses oh they've actually got loads of these phase eight dresses this is a large oh no they're a jumpsuit sorry Especially if you've got like an occasion coming up. They've got lots of Ted Baker dresses as well. And you know, it's not just like one dress. They've got quite a few of them. Some more back there. So yeah, quite a good stock choice today. So have a good rummage through. I did say I was going to be quick though, didn't I? But <laughs> plans change, don't they? Zara, again, more Zara dresses. This one is... Um, like a shirt dress and it's 9.99 i feel like that's like a standard price point for all the zara bits unless it's like a top then it's like 4.99 closet london dress 17.99 but yeah weddings christenings engagement parties holidays i feel like now would be the time to pay 2k max a visit this is a lovely fabric this one from Soil Concept. It's 19.99. It's kind of like a toweling in a really pretty green, like soft green color. Also lots of Stradivarius. I know Bershka, Zara, Stradivarius, they're all kind of the same thing, but um, 9.99 for that. It's like a, what is that? Like an overcoat, really nice fabric. Uh, again, this dress, Stradivarius, this one is 9.99. And this is literally just the dress section, so. We need to get our rummage on, our TK Maxx rummage on. Just found the same dress that I just saw here in the green, in the beige. Which do you guys prefer, the green or the beige? That's medium, that's large, although there's not much in that, to be honest with you. See, this is what I mean by the tops are actually really affordable too. They've got, again, like I said, lots of Bershka, Zara, all of these are literally Bershka and Zara. Monkey as well. And these are all sort of like this little Bershka top is, how much is this? 
$3.99. I don't know if it just feels a little too early to be buying stuff like this, but they have some gorgeous big planters, which I'm definitely going to be coming back for. Um, although I see ones like this though, and I'm like, I'm never going to see that again. $29.99. Imagine like a nice big olive tree in that. It would look so good. Am I going to regret not picking this up? Hmm. <laughs> maybe but yeah they've even got smaller ones little this one 5.99 so yeah i feel like just now's the time because they're so fully stocked with spring summer outdoor bits for the garden that when our garden's actually finished i'll come back and it might all be gone some beautiful flow flowers and wreaths this one is 16.99 and don't know how well it shows on camera but it's pretty big i feel like that for a summer wreath stunning what else do they have little mini gypsophila branches stems they're 2.99 um oh, what's that one that one's maybe a bit wintry actually and then of course with easter being done so early this year everything's now in the sale if you have a host as well they've got loads of ginger ray bits here these are the sort of pots that i love as well can you see these kind of like terracotta ones so 5.99 no no sorry 9.99 then these ones with a bit of detail and character and interest on them that one as well is lovely It's a very wet and drizzly one, but we are detouring through the Tim Hortons drive-through. I'm feeling a maybe French vanilla, maybe a sandwich. I had all intentions of having lunch when I got home, but it's already well, it's nearly one, and I don't just thought of cooking right now. It's a no. Welcome to the Looking Hello, please. Can I get a? Uh, can I get a grilled cheese just on its like without? Sorry, we're out, we're out of grilled cheese. Oh, you're out, out of, of out yeah, of grilled cheese. Yeah, out of some bread. That's why. A double cheeseburger. Double cheeseburger, yeah. Double uh, cheeseburger. You want on its own or as a meal? Just on its own is fine, thank you. Yeah. Anything else? Can I get a decaf French vanilla? What size? Just a small. Small. Decaf. And then can I also get a ten box of Timbits, please? Anything else? That's it, thank you. It's going to be 30 you know, 7 to the next window. Thanks. Damn it, they're out of grilled cheese sandwiches. It's happened before actually to me once with Tim Hortons. Not as much as McDonald's with their milkshakes though, I will admit that. But anyway, we're going to eat this, head home, and then finally share with you the bits that I picked up. It's quite a haul back there, <laughs> unintentionally. The idea was to take you out and about shopping today, but we ended up buying some bits too. Oh, there's a little papa following us. There he is. Oh gosh, the never ending challenge of finding a makeshift tripod because we can't be bothered to go and get the real tripod. I can see you wagging your tail like you're gonna pick something up but you're not, are you? Because we know that there's no toys for you in there. There actually is a toy in the Home Sense and TK Maxx bags. However, oh, thank you. You stay there, I just need to shut the door because Tom is on a work call and he likes to, I don't know, his voice just travels. <laughs> it travels. So, oh, I just love this dog so much. He was a Paulie Susan this morning, weren't you? Well, I say Paulie Susan. He was absolutely fine, but he sicked up. Right, so he's sleep. Like, why can I not just stick on a, a, a tangent? <laughs> I noticed that when I'm editing back videos, I'm like, you started saying something, then you've moved on to the next thing, then you've moved on to the next thing. I feel I definitely do that. Oh, thank you. I definitely do that with everything. Household chores, you know, if you've got something that you need to take upstairs, you pick it up to take it upstairs, and then en route you see something else that needs doing, you think, oh, well, whilst I'm down there, I'll just quickly do that. And then whilst you're doing that, you see something else that needs doing, you think, oh, well, I'll just do that. You think, I haven't even taken the things upstairs, which is what I was originally going to do. Oh, thank you. Thank you for that, Paul. But yeah, he sleeps in our bedroom on his bed on the floor. And religiously, every single morning, 6.30 a.m., it's like he has a body alarm clock that is insane. I'm not even kidding, to the minute. 
he will jump up on the bed and come in for a cuddle for half an hour before we get up. Um, so sweet as that is, this morning he got up and I thought, oh, it feels particularly early today. So I was sort of like, I didn't check the time, but I just sort of started drifting off. And you know, when he was right in the middle of us, head on my pillow. And, um, and then five, five minutes later, or however long it was, I sort of woke up to him going, And I thought, what is he doing? And so I looked at him and he was like, and I was like, oh God, is he gonna be sick? <laughs> so I got him off the bed quickly and then ooh, 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 and then puked up on the carpet, didn't you, in the bedroom. But it wasn't sick, it was, sorry if this is gross because I'm a, like proper rheumatobob, hate sick, but it wasn't, it wasn't sick. It was, he coughed, he basically brought up a, um, like, you know the shred of a tennis ball, the fuzzy bit on the outside, if you were to peel it off, it would come out like shaped like that. And that's what he coughed up. But at least your body rejected it in that way. But then he was absolutely fine and running around playing on the field this morning with all your friends, weren't you? But I was thinking, God, thank God. Mother's intuition woke me up, told him to get off the bed. Otherwise that would have been in my face. <laughs> which would not have been a nice way to wake up. But anyway, why did I get onto that tangent? See, yeah, then I get distracted from what I was originally gonna say. I'm gonna watch it back, editing it back, saying this is what you were gonna say. I know what I was gonna say. <laughs> I do have a toy for Mr. Barney in the HomeSense bag, TK Maxx bag, but I got that much that I'm gonna keep that for my next video. I'm gonna do like a dedicated HomeSense TK Maxx haul. Barney, no rummaging in bags, please. So, yeah, I look a little red nose because I've just blown my nose, but anyway. So this is gonna be predominantly, in fact, it is gonna be a Yusk and D and Danelm haul. Because oh, thank you. You're feeling extra loving this morning. You're feeling extra loving. Oh. What are Mia's being brought forward for? Hello. Hello, Mr. Handsome. Can you see that doggy on the screen? That's you, look. That's you. Mr. Floofy is, that needs a brush. You look like you've got a bed head. Any other goldens or any other dog get matted here behind their ears? I always have to brush his ears out because that bit gets all knotty doesn't it so let's start with a couple of dunelm bits that i picked up firstly this two blade roller cutter ideal for pastas and pastries it's four pounds and because tom's been making his own pasta quite a bit recently i thought we could get this for there's like a smooth one and a ridged one that you could maybe do like ravioli we've never done ravioli with his homemade pasta before so four pounds for that also gnocchi ridger it's called who knew we needed a gnocchi ridger if you saw my recent poundland haul where i got the dupe of the neptune uh, wicker tissue box cover this is just to go within that so that was one pound this is their churchgate green apron i've got the matching oven gloves already as well and it's just very simple sage green print with little pockets on the front they've got these in the blue version as well so there we go 20 pounds spent in Darnell now let's head over to yes quite often when you see bath mats like the one that I've got in there now they're actually quite small just to have a bit more floor space covered I thought I could get this huge one that they do it's 70 by 120 so yeah it's pretty big but it's got the rubberized back and then a super cozy fabric on the front that was 15 pounds these napkin rings at three pound 50 like i said i'm wanted to stock up on a full set so i think the most we have ever hosted for is 10. i wanted to make sure i had plenty and especially with us doing the garden outdoor dining if we're having more people i thought 12 would be a good amount to get so three pound 50 for a set of four such a good price and again like a mini dupes the shops are full of them now who remembers like the first ever white company dupes video i did it was that long ago now i feel like i was probably one of the first people if not the first person to do it i remember when i was searching 
for that video however many years ago it was well in the old house so it must have been at least maybe five years ago i couldn't i searched white company dupes videos and no one was doing them anyway i also picked up this for i think this is three pounds it's just a little feather duster so i did pick up like I said, seeing as though I went through that tablecloth and linen cupboard, I did pick up a couple more tablecloths just to have options. I only have the one linen one at the minute from H&M. There is a stain on it and I don't want to be too precious about these things. You know, like if we have people over and they just spill something, so what? It doesn't matter. I've got the table protect one, so at least the table's protected. So this first one that I showed you in store with the little uh, flowers on, I just think is so pretty. I kind of wish I'd have had it for over the Easter bank holiday weekend when we hosted. Can you see the little delicate flowers on there? It's just such a subtle detail that I absolutely love it. But then I did also pick up the, um, the rustic one that I saw at the front of the store with the kind of like uh, just line detail along the edging. So the tablecloths were £18.50 for this one and the other one was 12 50 with the little flowers on but not bad at all and then to get matching to the one with the flowers on i did also pick up two um of the pairs of napkins they are two pound 50 for the pair and i did only get um two sets so we've got four in total because i do like to um you know for themed ones like this i'm okay with alternating so i've got plain linen ones as well which every other person could have say if we were hosting for eight people table runner as well i picked up one of those ones that i showed you uh, at 300 so that you can cut it to length i picked up these on checkout they're just one pound 50 little batteries for our weighing scales in the kitchen and then i also picked up two toothbrushes i like to have these to hand if we have people stop over that need a toothbrush or grab and go with these to if ever we're going away for the night somewhere or if we're just going on holiday or something that i need to take a toothbrush i don't want to take my big electric one i just grab one of these i got another one of these i have one already and i use this it's just a plain linen cushion cover 50 by 50 i have this cushion cover on his bed in the other room he's got like a little cushion on the bed go on you can go up there ready up Yay. <laughs> Hi. You good boy. Well, you shouldn't really be on there without a throw, hey? But anyway, in his bed in the other room, I have this cushion cover already on it. So when that one's in the wash, I always think, oh, I could do with the second one to alternate. Seven pounds? Seven pound fifty. So look, they are seven fifty. Okay, then I also got this little spongy thing to go on my bath tray. And this is quite thick and chunky, which is what I really liked about it. Obviously, I'll cut out the white label here. But just a nice textured little sponge to have on the bath tray. And that was, how much was that? Bad bath sponge. They've all got names like the IKEA do. Two pounds, that one was. Artificial plant at two pounds. I'm always in need of little plants like this for little pots especially for like on the shelves i want to add a bit more faux foliage so just something like that to go within these sort of pots i am lacking so i thought that was the perfect little size this one's just an ikea one i also got these two little stems these were three pound 75 and yeah i just picked up two of them because i thought again in a nice little vase or pot they would look lovely just kind of poking out the end they're kind of like a dried looking eucalyptus with also these little mini flowers i got three of these i can what are they called ralph oh, who was here in the ralph days you have to be like a real old time watcher of my channel if you remember ralph two pounds 50 these were a stem they'll probably go in a different vase but for now you can see what they look like at two pound 50 each a really pretty like ruffled flower and then the pot at 35 pounds for this gorgeous rustic pot that you would definitely pay at least double for somewhere like a zara home or a white company i know their pots are 70 pounds and they're smaller than this i'll get to work on filming the home sense and tk maxx haul that i've got for you as well which will be my next video but anyway thanks for watching hope you guys have enjoyed it thumbs up if you have subscribe for more and i will hope to see you all 
very very soon in my next video bye guys